Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here for a plan with me for the week beginning the 6th of July. I'm still in my Hobonichi cousin. I say still, I've only done one week in it so far. I've got my pencil case as well from my Coffee Monster Co. Anniversary bundle, I think it was. <laughs> and I've got my kit that I'm gonna use this week, which is from Frank Hartshew. So there are date covers. And it's the La Vie Est Belle. This is the bell kit, essentially. And boxes, to-dos and half boxes. I really like these ones. They're very cute. And some more boxes, which I love. I just love all the boxes. Um, so it is sized for a vertical planner. We don't name names. Um, but I'm using it in my cousin. I have come to realise this week that my cousin is very much a memory planner. I write down things after they have happened. I don't forward plan and apart from these post-its on the next week. But yeah, it's very much a memory planning. I go like the, today is Sunday. I haven't written anything down because I'll go in and fill it out tonight. And the journal portion is for memories as well. So like, I think when the kids go back to school and things start to get a bit more busy, I might not use this for forward. It might all become memory planning, including the week even more so than this. Cause like I put my to do's, I might not do that. This might just be short memory of what happened that day and then full on journaling in the journal pages, but we'll see. That's not happening anytime soon. So we will go with planning at the beginning of the week anyway. So I'm gonna have to trim down my date covers for sure. Let's just, excuse me if my head gets in the way here. Let's just do this. And where's my pen? My pen, my good pen. We go with right there. And I'm just gonna cut them, like with scissors. And I hope that I'm even. And again, oh, I think I might actually measure a bit more. do that and talk apparently I cannot I cannot do both at the same time I'm afraid I don't know why so how have you all been everybody what have you been up to so yeah I'm filming this on Sunday it is chucking it down with rain so my apologies if you can hear that in the background like the rain is serious right now. Um, but yeah, how are you? You alright? What have you all been up to? I, it's actually been a relatively busy week. I'm not going to say like super busy, but, oh, a little bit peeled off, but it has been quite busy this week so I am um, oh see I cut that too short never mind too late now um oh Friday's at the bottom I would have got that completely wrong yeah we've been relatively busy here I haven't been doing the stuff I should be doing don't get me wrong you know been busy but I've not been doing what I need to do um but yeah, we've been, let's see, what have we done this week? Well, um, I got a new computer. My iMac was dying a death. Um, I did talk about it in my budget video, I think, I'm not sure. I started like a fund for an iMac and then 
I think I jinxed myself with it. So I bought a MacBook. So that came this week, so I've been setting that up. And just doing the usual work and stuff. And also, let me think, I need day dots. So yeah, I've had to change some stuff around in my office for that. I think we're gonna wipe my computer, my old computer, so that, oh, I could use these ones, so that the um, the kids can use it, because it should be okay for that amount of work, like, they're not, they don't do a huge amount, so for like their schoolwork and stuff, it should be okay for that, we'll see. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that. And then also, on Friday, I got to visit my mum. So if you're new here or don't know, my mum uh, lives in a care home. <clears throat> she had two major strokes um, a couple of years ago and she's lived in her care home now for 18 months, I want to say she's been there. They're really lovely and they've been taking amazing care of her. But during this pandemic, they've been closed to visitors, like completely. Well... In Scotland, I don't know, I don't know how it works in England because I haven't looked because I don't need to know. But in Scotland, they have, now we've entered phase two. And part of phase two, they also introduced phase two measures in nursing homes. I'm just going to start sticking down stickers, by the way, otherwise I'm going to be here all day. So yeah, they introduced phase two in nursing homes, which included... Um, a new way of visiting, in theory. <laughs> um, so they, it's really strict, like the rules are really strict and the rules they put into place are quite complicated but essentially one person is the designated visitor for each resident and you can visit once a week for half an hour. It's outside, you have to maintain social distancing. So like I can't give her a hug or anything but I can get within two meters of her. Um, so yeah, you maintain social distancing and once a week and you book it online in advance. So we decided all amongst us as a family that I was gonna be the designated visitor for now. And then when the rules changed, that's when you would introduce more people. But at the moment, cause Greg's off work, I can go, like, I'm physically able to go because there's someone here to look after the children. But in the next phase of things, like when Greg goes back to work, it might not be quite as easy for me to go and visit. So, yeah, we decided that I would be the designated visitor to begin with. So... On Friday, I got to have my very first visit with my mum in, well, I haven't actually seen her since the beginning of March. So, it's been a while. <laughs> but yeah, so that was Friday, which was amazing. It was a bit weird, won't lie. But, yeah. Um, so I put my to-dos, I'm gonna put my tracker next. Um, and then yesterday, so also phase two in Scotland rules changed on Friday to allow children under 11, so 11 and under, no need, no longer need to socially distance outside with anybody, so other children or adults, so they don't need to socially distance. So that meant that it started on Friday but it wasn't very clear when they put the guidelines out like it wasn't 100% clear if it was just with other children or adults so we didn't do anything about it and then we it was clarified on Friday and so yesterday which was Saturday my dad came over and stood on the front doorstep and the children got to go out and give him a hug which was actually adorable. Like, possibly one of the most adorable things I've seen. And like, that is the first 
real human contact my dad has had this entire lockdown, so... <laughs> I think, well, he said it made his day. Um, and then... So, so they're also going to get a visit this week from their Auntie Paula and Auntie Rachel, and they're going to get cuddles. <laughs> So yeah, there's been a lot of change for us anyway. Like I always say, the changes actually don't mean a huge amount to us because of where we live. Like when they changed the exercise rules and things, we weren't doing it anyway because we live out in the country. So it wasn't a huge change for us. I'm really liking that sidebar, by the way. I need to think of something to write in there. Um, yes, yeah, so it wasn't like a huge change for us, but this, this was a big thing. And this kind of amazing thing. Okay, okay. Now, I've got six full boxes, some half boxes, and those like picture ones. And we have got some three different appointments to write down. And then I need to decide what I'm doing at the bottom here. Like I don't have any more washy or anything. I definitely want to use some of these, so I might actually put these down instead. Instead of washi? Or alongside washi? Let's just put appointments in first. So, at half one tomorrow, which is Monday, my children have what is a doctor's appointment? I need to find my little blade. Yeah, it's a doctor's appointment essentially, but it's done via online, like a video. So it's just their regular appointment that they would have with their particular doctor, but it's just being done online. So, um, I wonder if my pen will work on these stickers. Let's see. Yes, okay, so. Uh, line appointment and it's 1.30 and 2.15. I can't remember which way round it goes, children wise. 2.15 is Isaac's appointment. Not that it really matters, because she'll probably just, she'll just stay on the video. But I would like to make sure I get it the right way around. Okay, so, at their appointments. Then, Thursday at 1.30, I am going to visit my mum. I'm going to put this down like this. So I've already booked this one. So you have to answer questions when you book online and... When you get there, they take your temperature and everything. Um, and you have to, like, if you have any symptoms, you have to cancel. And if anyone in the home tests positive or shows symptoms, visiting has to be cancelled for 28 days after the last sign of symptoms. So obviously it would be longer than 28 days. So like, it is really important that we do not bring COVID into the care home. I mean, it's impo important anyway, but I just feel like it's like super important. So on Friday, I'm going to put it right at the top because it's an all day thing, but it's not for all of us. So here's another big change for us. Isaac's play scheme is running. So the boys used to go to play scheme every other Saturday. And every Friday in the holidays and they have um, they have rejigged and changed everything in order to bring that back so yeah play scheme is back which I'm absolutely terrified about it was a really big decision for us if we were going to send them or not. Ben is refusing to go anyway, so that answers that question. But Isaac actually wants to go, so 
we have decided to let him. I'm just going to write it long ways. And it is 10 till 2.30. Yeah, we have decided to that it's right, he should go. He needs the social aspect of it. And we actually know all of the children. We know all of the children that are going. So like I know the families and everything. So I feel quite confident sending them if I'm honest. So I have these weekend banners, which are from Blossom Nose Co. in pastel. I'm gonna use one of these. Oh, I've got them in bright as well. I'm gonna use pastel. Because I like it. Oh, it's quite big. Um, I, might, I might just put it down the bottom. You can't even see me. So I'm just putting it down the bottom actually because it's quite big and it would go over this. I quite like that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so he's going back to play his game on Friday, which I'm really nervous about, but I know that it's the right thing to do and I'm sure he's going to have a great time. So it is what it is. So am I just going to load up down here? I think I might. Just put them across here. So at least some of them. So my hubby is getting the children to bed right now. Rather him than me, if I'm honest. Um, they're being a bit wild today. They're, yeah. They're just, just a little bit tiring today. So like, we're just, um, that's not gonna fit another one though, is it? Uh, I bet it won't peel up either. Come on. Oh no, nope, nope, doesn't peel up. Does not peel up. Okay. Oh no. I could do it actually over the join. Hmm. <laughs> Will I? Will I just try? Oh, let's just try. Who cares? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not bothered really. Like it's gonna look cute no matter what, so. Oh my goodness, look how well that lines up against the line. That's a bit worryingly weird. Okay, let's just fold it. Okay, that actually looks quite cute. And I definitely will not fit another two over here, so. We'll go with I will if I, will this peel up? Ugh. I feel like I'm just all about the making a mess today. Okay. That peels up so I can get two down. I think. Ugh. Yeah. Or at least this one. And I could probably fit like a low down one, which actually would be quite cute. Like, break it up a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's cute. And then I'll get like a quote to write there or something. Okay, that, that's okay. I'm okay with that. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. And then, I really like these two, but I'm gonna put this one up on Sunday at the top because that is what I do on a Sunday, is I plan. Planning my week. And it fits because of the edge at the column. You see? Now if I'd really thought about it, I should have kept Sunday as a long... Oh yeah. It doesn't match up, but you wouldn't really notice. I mean, yeah, you probably would notice. People will notice. I don't really care. Okay, I think I might be done. Should be like the quickest plan with me ever. 
but it's like normal. There's not really anything happening. I mean, there's, there's tons more happening than there has been for weeks. I mean, three things. Uh, <laughs> on Wednesday, I'll probably be going to Tesco's. I didn't go this week because we had a delivery instead, but I'll probably go to Tesco on Wednesday. But there's nothing else like specific that is happening. I keep hearing noises and I think it's my husband's game on his computer is not turned down completely, but it sounds like someone's screaming. And I've been watching way too many, way too many murder mystery makeups for me to not hear people like not get paranoid. Never mind. So I've got a full box and some checklists. I've got a couple of those boxes, which I do really like them, and I think they would look cute in like a journaling page, but I'll probably use them as well. Some more checklists. There's only one little flag there, so that'll get used. Some more checklists. Build you. I don't necessarily have a specific build you that I need to like remember in this planner, so I probably won't use that. To do's, I will probably use them. Some boxes. And then the little scraps. And that is it. Got a lot of shimmer to it. I do like it. I'll just show you last week. I haven't finished because I haven't filled out Sunday. I did like my meals down here, so didn't track very well. But I like to have my meals down here. But yeah, I will um I do I, I like how this came out. I don't like the date dots, by the way, the date covers, so we could ignore the date covers. But I, I like this, this is pretty. So I bought two of these kits. I bought the Belle one and the Ariel one. So now I know what I'm sort of doing with it. I do quite like it. Yeah. Okay, I will leave links to the shops down below, but it is just Frank Cartu and this one from Blossom Nose Co. And I want some more with love. But I will leave links down below. If anybody has any questions, please ask them down below or you can find me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram name just here. And as always, guys, thank you for listening to me waffle on and for watching. Bye.